Controller Bending. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Controller Bending. For those new to the series, this show is all about modding controllers to play games they weren't meant for. For example, think about playing Dark Souls with a bunch of bananas or playing Super Mario 64 with a Kinect. Today we have a very special episode of Controller Bending as we are playing Ghost of Tsushima with an actual katana. No, seriously, there was actually a katana control that was made in 2004 and it's really, really cool. Originally, the katana control is made for a game called Onimishu... or Onimishu... Onimush... Okay, give me a second. The whole point of the katana control is to make the user feel like they're actually playing the game. However, but like most plastic controllers, it kind of was passed off as a gimmick. I, on the other hand, think the katana control is rad as heck. When you're playing around with the katana controller, it makes you feel like you're wielding some intense plastic in your hands. What's really cool about the katana controller is actually just a PS2 controller in the shape of a katana. Just like the PlayStation 2 controller, the katana actually has two analog sticks and face buttons on the front and back of the grip. The main function of the katana controller is that when you swing the controller itself, it activates the triangle button on a PlayStation 2 controller. So before I added my mods, the katana controller itself was a little bit janky. As janky as the katana controller might be, I'm gonna go ahead and mod it and make it work for a modern game. Ghost of Tsushima is a beautiful game with great gameplay. Ever since Ghost of Tsushima came out, I wanted to mod this katana controller so I can feel like an actual samurai cowboy. So let's get straight into modding and up first we needed to find some controls. The first thing I wanted to get working was swinging the katana to attacking game. It didn't take me long but I was able to convert swinging the katana in real life to do a light attack in the game. How much health do you have? Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> In order to do a heavy attack, I have to hold a button on the bottom of the grip and swing at the same time. Was he good? Oh. Sorry, dude. This is how it's gonna be. <laughs> now, here's one of my favorite movements I was able to mod into the controller parrying. In order to get the parry to work in game, you have to swing the controller upwards while holding a trigger button on the back of the grip. It's really hard to parry as the button activation is at the apex of the swing. But yo, when you pull off the parry, you feel like an actual samurai in a movie. Yeah. Oh, is he stunned? That's kinda cool. That was a cool fight. <laughs> See, I'm getting, I'm getting better at it. Okay, I'm learning how to parry correctly. Okay, with attacking and defending finally mapped out, here comes the final part of the controller, the standoff. Man, if I thought I was a wee before, nothing ever tops this. In order to do the standoff correctly, I had to sheath my katana right before the encounter. To complete the standoff, you actually have to hold the heavy attack button and pull out the katana at the right time, and that's, that's a lot of work to do. <laughs> No! Correct shit, non What? I am confused. <laughs> but after enough deaths, I channeled my inner cowboy and pulled off the duel. I'm on stream. Try to do this again. Wait, I gotta fight this dude? Shit. <laughs> Son, hell yeah. Shit, how many people are there? Oh my gosh. Ow, don't push me. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, chill out. He's down. Camera angles are terrible. Jesus. Oh my gosh, hold on. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I just wish I could see him. Yo! <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yo! <laughs> we did it! That was so gross. But there is oh something in here that causes me to swing to be able to attack. I did it! <laughs> okay, we in there. Oh my gosh. I just had to do a couple little things differently, but it worked. <laughs> Well y'all, that's the most fun I've ever had with plastic in my entire life. In fact, I'm never playing Ghost of Tsushima with a regular controller ever again. It's Katana Controller Bust. But hey, if there's any Oni Mishu devs watching, y'all did an amazing job with this Katana Controller. I feel like you're way ahead of your time. I can't wait to show y'all the next controller bending video I've been working on for the past couple of months. I might say it's a remake of a very, very favorite controller I've had a fantasy about for quite a while. But right now, the Wild West is calling me, so I need to head out, y'all. Until the next video, y'all, stay safe and pay your taxes. Peace.